video who I'm Xuanzhang. In this video essay, I'm going to analyze my two videos. One is media society and another is media culture. First of all, both works are produced in response to real-world client. One is media culture video for Cobra Company, which runs the Liverpool local pound. Another is media society video for Scotty Press, which is one of the Britain's longest-running community newspaper. In order to clearly analyze these two videos and good works, I will divide this video essay in two parts. In the first section, I will focus on the viral media production and promotion by connecting with some academic theories, such as Berger's 2013 Six Principles on Contagiousness, Nay and Hemsley 2013 Research of Viral Video Spread Pattern, and Granol Vitter's 1973 Studies about Weak Ties Impaction in Social Network. The structure of this section is similar to the last semester's video essay. Now, let's move on to the first section. The media culture video aims to introduce a useful payment application called Loop for Audience. We set this video as a vlog form instead of normal advertising video. Not only because vlog is popular on YouTube now, but also we want to show the user's own perspective of using experience, which can arouse audience seriousness. Moreover, combining discovery trip in Smith Down Road with Kolu will make video more attractive, especially for a local audience or who lives nearby. Based on Berger's 2013 Steps Framework, this video has successfully achieved four of six principles, social currency, triggers, public and practical value. Social currency, the video introduces a new payment method which is convenient and modern, especially different with other payment methods such as card or cash. As Berger said that most people would rather look smart than dumb, cool than geeky. With detailed information of the function of Kolu presented in the video, people will easily understand how to use it. For triggers, on the one hand, we consciously found Kolu logo and signs and give close-up shots to them because we want to remind audience to use Kolu when they saw the signs. On the other hand, the background setting in Smithstown Road and the slogan Be a Local also work as triggers which will let the audience to think about this application. Then, for the public principle, Berger said the producers need to make their products and ideas more public for audience to imitate. So we try to show the popularity of Kolu. For example, we shot different people using Kolu in different shops to indicate that Kolu is accepted by many shoppers and business and also very easy to use. Finally, for the practical value, Kolu as a new payment application contains many advantages such as save money, save time, and convenient to find local shops. Therefore, all we need to do with the product under the practical value principle is to highlight the incredible value. Instead of simply mentioning, we use image of a phone to highlight the functions and try to create deep impression for our audience. Now let's pay attention to the Media Society video. In response to Scotty Press, the Media Society video aims to attract more readers, journalists and volunteers by presenting interesting history of Scotland Road. Our general idea is to make the video like a memory line. Through walking down to the Scotland Road, the history and the story will be unfolded. In order to make the history more attractive and authentic, we also added an interview of local resident and showed some archived photographs. I think this video has successfully used the two contagious principles. One is emotion and another is story. For emotion aspect, Asperger said that contagious content will evoke some sort of emotion and some emotions will increase sharing. So we decide to use lively music instead of soft music. In addition, the whole video's color keys and tone are bright. It wants to convey a leisurely and colorful skull and road image to audience. Furthermore, through the comparison of old photographs and nowadays scenery, it can also evoke nostalgia of local residents. And for the story principle, in this video, we pointed out several historical stories 
associated with the place. By walking down to the Scotland Road, the memory and old stories presented to audience. The interviewer's memory of this area and the archived old photos may not familiar for young audience. Therefore, it corresponds to Berger's view that the stories need to carry things like morals and lessons. Then let's draw attention to the statistics. The number of watch time of media culture video is 230, which is much higher than the media society video 167. However, even though the media culture has achieved more contagious characteristics than media society and generated much viewers, the media culture video has got four likes, zero comments, eight shares. Zero subscribers. Well, the media society video has got 16 likes, zero comments, and 14 shares, and one subscribers. Therefore, the total user engagement of media society is 19.76 percent, which is better than the media culture 2.17 percent within the time available. But that's not means the contagious principle is wrong. And other factors such as promotion methods, social media contacts, which will be mentioned later, will also influence the final data. Now let's look at the life cycle of those videos. In the book Going Viral, Nain and Hemsley did the research on viral event and spread pattern of videos. They mentioned the growth in the number of people who have seen the video is characterized by a slow, fast, slow signature. Moreover, they found that the number of viewers for socially driven videos ramped up to a peak and gradually decayed. Promoted messages tend to gain and lose the audience attention more quickly than socially driven messages. According to their work, there is a chart shows life cycle of viral media. Comparing with media culture and media society's chart, there are some similarities. In general, they both have a growth phase and increasing to the peak, then a decay phase. Media culture video has a sharp revival immediately, while media society just have some small revivals. And finally, there are afterlife phases. Besides, there are also exist some special features need to be considered. Such as the small peaks, which reflects both groups' promotion plans' effectiveness. Especially, look at the viewers' geographical data of Kolo video. Although our target audience is the local resident in UK, and there are 159 viewers have watched, which is great. There are many other countries' viewers, which may demonstrate Grenon Vitter studies that the big ties have significant effect on diffusion process. If living without big ties, the information will spread in limited click. That is the reason why I also promote the video to the public through Sinan Weibo and Twitter. Now I'm going to analyze the group work, which is the main topic of this semester. In this semester, we both have two groups, which is assigned by teacher. Even though we already had the same class in semester one, some students are still unfamiliar for each other. However, both group members are friendly and enthusiastic, so that our group works can be successfully presented. I will first adopt Cousin Buck and Smith's team tab to analyze my two group works. Cousin Buck and Smith define a team as a team is a small number of people with complementary skills who are committed to a common purpose, set of performance goals, and approach for which they hold themselves mutually accountable. For both our teams, we have five team members and aim to create a promotion video for different clients. During working together to create a video, both teams have experienced from a working group to real group. Moreover, I think both A4 and B5 group have achieved the real team stage in the end, and want to be high performing team. However, with time available, we didn't achieve the last stage. From the working group, I still remember the first meeting of group B5. That everyone interacts primarily to share personalities, information, strengths, weakness, and when we know each other's advantages, 
We have a rough outline that who will responsible for which part. The same as Group A4. In the first meeting, we all agreed that Josh, as the native speaker, may take responsible for voice over part. The pseudo team is the weakest of all groups in terms of performance impact. Comparing with Group B5, the Group A4 more obviously have experienced this stage. When we need to have more ideas about the two pitches, we didn't have enough brainstorms, and not everyone has presented their own ideas. So we only had two or three rough ideas, and everyone thought that's enough. And it lasted nearly two weeks. With deadline approaching, team members started to carefully work on on the pitches. Like Kazabak and Smith mentioned, that the group has not focused on the collective performance and is not really trying to achieve it. During the beginning of implementation phase, both groups become a potential team. According to Kazabak and Smith, potential team is a group for which there is a significant incremental performance need, and that really is trying to improve its performance impact. In this stage, both groups have got feedback from clients. Therefore, the purpose and goal of the video works is clearly. In this stage, team members started to consider the producing day and the day of final draft. The potential team members have not yet developed the total trust in each other. Moreover, as the performance curve illustrates, when a team approach makes sense, the performance impact can be high. The steep performance gain comes between a potential team and a real team. Real team is a small number of people with complementary skills who are equally committed to a common purpose, goals, and working approach for which they hold themselves mutually accountable. In this stage, we learn to divide work based on personal abilities. In Group B5, we try to create small groups which contains one to three people, and each small group will take responsible for different part of the video. And it is true that increase the efficiency. For example, for the editing part of this video, Yubo and I were in charge of the part of park. Yaqin and Xinxian did the church part. Jordan took charge of the animation and final editing. Divided the labor, meanwhile keeping in contact with group member will make the performance level and results much higher than those potential teams. Finally, for the high-performing team, which we didn't achieve, it should meet all the conditions of real team and has members who are also deeply committed to one another's personal growth and success. Because the time limited and we only produce one work for each group, the commitment may not deeply as high-performing team. That team members who are committed to one another's personal growth and success, which usually transcend the team. Both A4 and B5 group development similarly corresponds to Turkmen's four stages of team development chart. However, two groups are very different in some ways. In the forming stage, Group B5 has decided that Jordan is the group leader. That helps group member to identify the boundaries of both interpersonal and task behavior. While Group A4 didn't have a stable leader from the forming stage, everything seems good as well. Then for the storming part, it is characterized by conflict and polarization around interpersonal issues, with concomitant emotional responding in the task sphere. As B5's later strong ability, in this stage we didn't have many problems. However, because of short of leader in Group A4, the conflict between team members are not easy to solve. We have little problems on decision making during this stage. The norming stage of two groups are similar. The problem was solved by pitches decided, also by every team member's effort. After having the new goal, the in-group feeling and the consciousness develop in both groups. Finally, both groups come into the performing stage. According to Tuckman, rules become flexible and functional, and group energy is channeled into the husk. Structural issues have been resolved. And the structure can now become supportive of task performance. 
In the final stage, each group member has noticed their responsibility of work, so we share a strong team spirit. To conclude, the first semester's knowledge, such as the contagious principles and viral spread event theory, are useful for the semester's group work. It helps us to create a more interesting and viral video for meeting class and event. And the most important things I have learned through this session is not only the technologies and producing high quality videos, but also knowing how to efficiency working in a group and how to cooperate with other group members. Finally, I really appreciate Carrie's help and both A4 and B5 group members' efforts to this semester's work. This has been me, Shuan Zhang. Thanks for watching.